all meeting to honor. Did everybody have a chance to read the uh, minutes? Yep. Mm -hmm. Anybody have any issues? No, I saw the one change that was made. The data was fine. Okay. That was the one about um, the meter price, mm -hmm. meter time and fee update, right? Okay. I'll make a motion to accept. I'll second it. All in favor? All right. Aye. Aye. Well, why does it say approve uh, to be signed by art? It should be signed by me. I was here. Oh, you know what? I you didn't, you didn't change it. it. didn't change it from the last page. <laughs> exactly. So you just change the last page there and I'll sign it. Okay. All right. Why don't we do what we did last meeting for old business, even if there's no other. We signed the warrants already. All right. And uh, we signed the abatement. So now we're on the old business, there's nothing else in new business. So tell us what you... So station one, two, and four, I think they had some technical questions, but it was something I could quickly answer and send off to them. I haven't heard anything more on Manly Street, station three. So that's the one, that's a DEP. Yeah, so we're just waiting on that. Uh, update replacement wall. I haven't heard anything on the update replacement wall. I guess we're not getting that back before winter time comes. <laughs> Jesus. I don't, I don't get it, but wish we could just fire. I mean, they bid on it, so I guess we can't release them and go rebid the electrical. Well, I mean, technically you can rebid, but although they did they bid as a sub or was it, no, it was a file sub bid, right? Yeah, they, so, yeah, because they're a sub, because Dankris got it. Yeah. So, yeah, they're a sub to Dankris. I mean, they've already ordered the VFDs, so eventually if the VFDs come in, they're going to want to get their money for them, so they'll quickly come out and put them in. Yeah. Asset management be next. Nice. I haven't heard anything more on that. I think they, I believe that they sent that off to them. They just had, he had asked about whether you accepted it and you agreed that you accepted yeah. it and that was it. So that's supposed to have been sent off to the DEP. Now, Walnut Street Tank, they, that's, they asked technical questions on that one too. They asked for run specifics and stuff, which I answered right away and sent back to them. Uh, Lincoln Street Warehouse. Oh, um, so on that oh. one for the agenda, should we take off the on hold waiting funding? Because that's on the way. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yes. Yeah. And the Lincoln Street Warehouse, I believe that they're going to be issued a building permit. I think that they asked the planning board, and I think it was, I think the planning board said okay. Is so the Lincoln Street project? Yeah, because something to do, so the land takings and stuff is going to take a while for the street widening, but the, they were pressing because I guess they pre-bought the steel pre-pandemic, <laughs> and it's being stored in Bridgewater somewhere, so that's what? why the, the steel for the building. Really? Yeah. I knew they were talking about buying, like, I think he already has the pipe, too. Because they were talking about pre-buying stuff as everything was beginning to go to crap. So they still don't have the takings for them to go through and do the work on Route 106. Right. So I don't think so. He doesn't care about that, but he wants to get his building up while all of that's happening in the background. He wants to get his building up and get the water pipe run. So the water pipe doesn't affect the takings because it's pretty much going to be in the middle of the road. Yeah. So I, today I tried to remember who, there were two people, so I got Mr. Estabrook's um, number and email, and then I've got to find the other realtor that's involved with the two houses there. That one was speculation, and I think they're still for sale, so I think when it comes time for them, unless there's some land takings happening on that side, when it comes for them to pony up money, I don't think they'll, that'll lend that one. What are you saying? What, what? So on the opposite side, I don't know if you, as you go down towards um, 24, 
there's there's a bright yellow house and there's another house. It's the two first two houses after you get past Market Basket and the oil place. Oh yeah. Okay. And they need the uh, I guess the low, the upper one has more uplands and the lower one has some land or something. So they're trying to sell them off together. Yeah, so that they have something usable. Right. But the for sale signs have stayed up. And I know there must be rock on the site because I remember the yellow house when we finally forced our way in to change the meter. It, like, a third of his basement was a giant rock. <laughs> the house foundation was poured around on the rock. We don't have a lot of that around here. Yeah. So has somebody already bought it, you say? I don't think so, because the no. sale signs are still there and the people are still living there. But oh. Maybe they hang out until the end, I don't know, but they haven't gone anywhere, so. Huh. And then Frank Gallagher, I think they were waiting, I thought I read in the planning board minutes too, something, they were waiting for the verdict out of the Brockton, the, whatever their court case was. I still don't think they want to spend the money to run pipe. No, they were suing Brockton to get served by them. Right. Yeah. But I don't know why, I know the planning board, I read it, and the planning board keeps explicitly stating some, how they need to run their roadway, and they keep refusing to do it, so they, I know they end up with a lot of arguments there. Then water rates will be whenever you decide to bring in Tanner and Howard to speak to them. Now the solar, I did email off to Gagney, but I didn't get to it until this week, and I don't, he hasn't gotten back. Actually, I emailed it last week. I'm not sure when I did, but I did. I bet you there's going to be money coming after Biden uh, signed there that bill. There is money around, but you just have to have the cost. That's why I asked them. Um, you asked me to ask David if there was a special town meeting. Yeah, yeah. I have asked, but I don't. He hasn't gotten back to me yet. So I have a few few things out to him. Okay. I think yeah. they're trying to do one in November. Yeah, I remember there was some, he said at the town meeting, there was a reason they were going to have another one right away for something. I, don't I think it's the, um, on Lincoln Street, the, uh, the uh, sports few. complex. All right, I know there was something, and that, you know, they didn't really talk about it, but there was a reason they were going to have one. What's a sports complex? The, the old um, greenhouses over there, Russo's. Oh. The town bought that and they want to put uh, some pickleball courts and some fields out there and stuff like that. And a, bas a building for basketball. And yeah. They have all kinds of plants. There's not a lot of, uh, there's a lot of wet out there. Yeah, I remember looking at the plants thinking, I don't know. Uh, I don't think it was a good buy. But have they tested it for pesticides? Um, or no, they're not going <laughs> to. No, I thought, I thought back then John Delano had said they had gone through and did this. Either like limited tests or something, but they didn't. They didn't do it without checking anything. They actually did check. There was nothing in there that was going to. I can't shut believe. It down. I can't believe that place is peppered with uh, pesticides. They, they they were so. they were spraying those buildings daily. Um, uh, the greenhouses. Yeah, where they where they were putting flowers in there. Yeah. Because they always had big signs when we went, went in there to read the meters. Don't go in the, can't go in this building without a mask. They had the, the things were full of fumes, you know. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, I'm sure it wasn't good for you if they were telling you not to go in there. And that, and all they have is a dirt floor. Yeah. That and they had the plants used to be out in the fields in pots on the other side of the ground. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, I don't know. I don't I, I look into it pretty good before I go spend any money on it. We've already spent because you don't want to find out. We've already spent a bunch of money on it. No, no, they already bought it. They yeah, bought they, it. They like bought it. Well, no, they already ago. bought it, but when yeah. kids start getting sick from it. I know, that was like a year or two ago they bought that. I know. I'm going to say two. Yeah. That is one thing I would not touch. Gas stations and uh, gas stations and greenhouse with ground. They'd have to bring in so much fill to bring it up to where it needs to be that you'd probably never even see that dirt yeah, anyways. Yeah, yeah, it'll basically be capped. 
Yeah, but it's still it's still there. That stuff is still there. It'll make its way to the surface. Believe me. All right. I'm not gonna worry about it. And job posting. Well, we get I get a few here and there. Nothing. Nothing. I mean, nothing that makes me jump. I think the DPW basically had the same problem. And I think they're pulling their posting for a while. Do you think we can uh, pull the uh, water strip off? We could probably drop it off. I mean, unless you want to do something more with it, it's not. I mean, we got quite a, quite a bit of rain now. Where's the, where's the level on the wells out? So I'm watching the wells. So they do funny things and then they fracture. So they're still down. They're not, and I did, after you said they, you know, we got the rain, so I did backtrack the levels and I didn't see any increase in height. Really? Yeah, and we're still drawing down. So they, they go along and then you'll see a little zigzag and then they drop about a foot. It's, and I looked, just looked recently, I think the only well that doesn't do that is station two. All the other stations will be running along at one level and then you'll see the zigzag and then they drop about a foot. So mainly still running down at about six feet when it runs. It has well, when they shut off, what, where do they come back up to? So they pop up and they have a rise. So you can see that it's not an intermediate, it's not an immediate rise, but they do rise back up pretty much to the same height. So do they rise up to where they used to be in the springtime or? So I'd have to look back, but I think they're fairly close. They're not yeah. the upper levels enough. So up. that only tells you then that the that the soil is getting tighter if right. the, if you're drawing it down as a well running, you know, you're yeah, not packing. moving the water as fast as you were running it toward the well. But if it's recovering, the water table comes back to where it used to be. The, right. the water table's back. It's it's uh yeah, and that's why you know it's, it's the uh, manly scheduled for a rehab in October, and I scheduled that way back in the spring. So hopefully he comes in on time. Do we have the authority to to eliminate the restriction, or is that? So you're, you're back to two days, so I'd have to look at the uh, Taunt River Basin. You can go back to two days, but our permit specifically states two days. I mean, a good amount of people... So the river, so the the river is, a, is a not high enough yet that we can... Well, it comes up, but then if you don't get rain, so and it has to be a seven-day seven thing. Day so I watched it after a few rainstorms, and yeah, it comes up, and then you see it go right back down. But now we've had enough rain, if I look at it, we could probably pull the signs and like people are ignoring it anyway, so we don't want to we send out more. Well, I'm, I'm just thinking that if we can, uh, if we don't need it, there's no sense of having it at all. I let people use it and we'll make some more money. We got a lot of bills coming up. <laughs> I'd be in favor yeah. of dropping as much as we could because we're a you know, high commodity business. Yeah, I can pull the signs and I can have them pull all the signs tomorrow. and. That'll probably pretty much. As long as you're running all right, you know, as long as you're not. We're running, we're, yeah, we've dropped because now we're getting rain. I can see the usage dropping back yeah. down. And we have some rain forecast besides. Not, yeah. not like monsoons like we had, but no, I have rain here and there. I mean, I've had to cut my lawn like four times now and I don't even water it, so. I don't want to be cutting it. It was kind of nice not having to do that. Yeah, yeah. Mine came went from being this high to about yeah. eight, nine yeah. inches high in two yeah, days. My grass uh, everywhere is yeah. growing like crazy, and it was it was brown and dead for a while. That's yeah. how I like grass, brown yeah. and dead. <laughs> you don't have to cut it. Yeah. We didn't hear weed whackers. You didn't hear lawn mowers. You didn't hear leaf blowers. Yeah. Now they're all back. No, it's funny you say that. I remember it was almost like a shock. I heard one of the neighbors start up the ride mower. Yeah. Along. I was like, oh. <laughs> so, anything else you want to talk about? 
We don't have anything like there's going to be any restrictions at all because as soon as those signs are pulled under, we're probably going to push calls. Well, we're still limited to two days. If you, we could. You just I just to want to know how to direct the phone calls. <coughs> Uh, well, we're still limited to two days. I mean, you can add. We're, we're limited for two days, but just like before, we didn't enforce it. You know? Right. Don't. If, if, if somebody's water and just don't, don't go chase them down with a fine because it's not that. It's too bad. I got one on the way in. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> there was one on the way in. I'm like, it's gonna rain. Why would you be running? He might have been blowing out a system, but it didn't look at like there were quite a few heads going off. So if someone calls and says I don't see the signs up, does that mean it's over? What do I say? I don't know what to say. I can't. So I can't answer that because I signed the thing that said that you'd be specifically two days. Right. Oh, and that's have you certified? No, tell them two days a week. That's, yeah. that's what it's. Thursday to Friday. So the Thursday to Friday is still there. It's still there. Yeah. Yeah. So, so we'll limit their watering to two days per week. If our uh, withdrawal <laughs> permit says we have to do it, we have to do it. Yeah. But just don't go finding anybody. To you know what it is? Them. I have at least two people that call me or send me pictures every day of their neighbors. So they're going to be the ones that call saying, I thought we had a water ban. Are you, you know? I've got a couple of those. Now, are those people who we had sent notices to before? So I went out to one of them. And it seems like a neighborhood squad. I don't want to get involved right. in it. Okay. I've never physically caught them. I looked at their yard. The yard's dead, but they had a new septic system installed. So I think they were just trying to grow grass where the septic system was installed. Well, which that's actually allowed anyway. Well, it is if you give them a waiver. But it's technically not. When we went into a level three, it wasn't. They at that point they tell you don't okay. put in lawns. But we're back down to a level two now. If it keeps raining the next time they meet, we might be back to a level one. So the word would be just tell them, you know, limit your watering to two days per week. That's what our permit says. Yeah. And they won't be getting fined. And do it, you know, but stay in the after, uh, you know, if you stay in the five to nine thing, you're. But just, they got out of hand. I mean, it was blazing sun in the middle of the day. They're running a sprinkler all day. Well, it's not going anywhere back except up into the sky. Or the ones watering the road. Yeah, yeah, that's just ignorance. Anything else? No, I don't have anything else. What is our next meeting, Kerry? Uh, Monday, October 3rd. October 3rd. You would send out the peak that was still below the 20. That's yeah, we went up, so we got that rain, and then I was kind of wondering what was going to happen when we finally got rain. And yeah, it went up. But, but we're still it, under 20, so. I say, but not as high as it had been either. So right. We're still. Like, do we want to think about when we want to bring Tater and Howard in on the rates? Whatever you'd like. I think we should get it on the radar. I'd like to do it when people aren't using as much water that way they don't get a surprise bill. Yeah, they're going to be surprised anyway. But I mean, this is just to figure out how we go through how we're going to reset them anyway. Right. So, middle of October, we're gonna we have to have them, if we're going to be here, we have to have it as a meeting. Right. 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 So no matter, so we just have them come into like a regular meeting. Yeah, might as well. October 17th, see if they're available. Yeah, I can do it for the second one. Yeah, see if they're available for the seventh. Because it is, it's, it, it's going to take some time to go through it. So. Right. And if we keep, we keep saying we'll figure out when we'll bring them in. We'll end up <laughs> yeah. needing to put the rates up and we'll be running out of time. So right. that way at least we'll get that done. Good idea. Terry, do you have anything? Any problems? Oh, no. 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 Okay.
complaints over these bits. Oh, <laughs> we have our phones drop out every now and then, so that's a reoccurring thing. I don't know how to get away from that. Your phones? It's not just the phones, it's the watch, yeah. yeah. The connection between here and the town hall and how they have us set up is just not a good. So we're connected, so we have Comcast here, but that's not how us, it's, it's, that gets us into the thing, but the town to log into their system brings us up to wherever the main server, I think it's in the new high school, to validate, and then it sends the signal back to us. So we do like a three-way thing if you're ever dealing with the town. So when something breaks in between, we lose our phones, we lose the share drives. So our phones are based off the internet. Yeah. The internet's down and we have no phone. It's really like become it inconvenience, especially lately. Because it seems to happen like once a month. Now does uh, yeah. town hall have the same problem or just no. us? No, no just because us. they're all on that fiber loop. <laughs> oh, so that's they don't because we're off the loop. Then. Right, we're separated from. Them. That happened last week, so I notified everybody. And then today when we came in, we couldn't. The phones were working, but we couldn't get on the share drive. So they came down and. The internet was up and so was the share drive, but it wasn't taking our credentials and it took them like a couple hours to figure it out. But like it's constant and I panic because uh, so I need today, so I had sure. any, yeah. any recommendation on how we can fix it? I don't know unless they made us our own little thing and then validate us down here. I, I don't I don't know how to, I'd have to ask Ed and see what yeah, there's no way they're gonna run five of them. No, they don't yeah, run fire yeah. because basically didn't the water department run all of their fiber for them? Yeah, we yeah. ran we ran all their fiber. We ran the whole thing. Well, you should have started with us first. Charity begins at home. Mm -hmm. um, it's a long way. It was a long run, <laughs> and it was theirs. Theirs was all on town property. Right. We only uh, we only the only place we had to go on private property we needed an easement was. The house right across the street from the town hall. Yeah. Just, just a few houses down to the left. Right. On the right hand side. Near uh, where Chris had to tell you, but yeah. um, he gave us an easement down the property line and that got us to the Howard School, which then brought us to the library, which brought us to the yeah. senior center, which brought us to the fire station, the police station, and it went over to the uh, to the high school, and then over to the how the to the um, Spring Street School. Right. Funny thing is, when they built the new school, we have no idea. We have no idea. They never would tell us when, when. where it went, and we had all the measurements to the underground. We had it when we built it, and then they wouldn't tell us what they did. When that's it. not in the asbolts from the high school. Not that I know of. I didn't see any asbolts. So if we you want to yeah, I, I, I have asbolts at the high school. I'll take a look. Let's take a look at it because yeah. he's. Um, I've asked Ed before, and I he doesn't know himself. So Ed, I asked for it too. And they told me no, I I didn't need it. And I was going to, you know, put it on the GIS. Yeah. Because there's a whole layer just just for that. Just, just so you know, when you before you start digging, that there might be something real important right there that you're gonna go through <laughs> like a knife through butter. Yeah, yep. they've um, it got hit before by behind. And nobody that. knows what they even use for a conduit because ours was that blue water pipe. Yeah, and, um, and we used D boxes for the uh, pull boxes every two hundred feet. So every 200 feet, then all the boxes were all labeled, you know, ties off buildings and stuff. So that every junction there was a there was a D box. I think we put steel covers on them so they could be found magnetically. You know, to put a steel yeah. plate on top of them. Yeah, we located them before when they were doing the the monument there, so that they didn't take it out. No, I'll take this. I'll take a look and see. Because the other, I remember the two. They also put out a whole CD of all the different information related to that project. So it might be kicking around on one of those. Well, that'd be I'm pretty great. sure I have. It. You know, if I don't have that, I know someone. Who does then a GIS department there can put 
put it on there, you know, get it, get it on there where it should be. As soon as uh, people keep these things in their head and they, and they think that it makes them more important, but yeah, then, then, they, then they leave and nobody can find anything. Exactly. <clears throat> nobody has a clue. Because right now I ask, I ask people if they have any idea where it went. Well, as long as it's working, nobody pays attention anyway. Right. And more than likely, they're just going to check ends. All of a sudden, though, one day somebody goes to dig, dig for something, and then that's the end. All of a sudden, they're not talking to the high school anymore. <laughs> How is um, Roselle? Do they run up to Roselle? Because that, be, that doesn't run up to Roselle, does it? Um, I was I started up the railroad tracks yeah. and going across the water department land yeah. that we have, and then I was bringing it out to North Elm Street. So then we'd only have to get a few houses down. We could get into the Rose McDonald property and the church complain that that railroad bed, they owned it and that we couldn't put a, a fiber optic up there. From the back of the, used to be the back of the um, tennis courts, yeah. up the railroad tracks and then on, we have to go very far, then we were on our property behind John Cruz's house and then we were gonna bring it across the prop right on the property line and then we have a right of way out to North Elm Street the water department yep. does so we were gonna run it out there but we needed that one little piece and we could and they and they said we couldn't do it. Well that means Roselle's gotta be on something similar to what we have. Right. Do they have the same problem? I've never heard but I don't I don't hear so if you're talking to Ed you might ask him. Yeah. I think they I think they ended up running a overhead on the telephone wires, I think. I'm not sure. Because if they had had a problem and then they f did something to fix it, maybe there's a way, you know, something similar for us. Because you can't, you can't be out with that stuff. I always thought the it's railroad tracks bed so there was owned by the town. I thought the town of West Bridgewater bought that. I think it's different too. It's harder. I know I've had a conversation with Ed about it before, and like we're just in the middle of nowhere, so there's nothing down here, you know. I think because he did mention he did mention the Roselle, and um, he had said it was an issue, but it was it wasn't as bad as down here because at least up there they weren't like down here. There's nothing out here. Yeah. yeah. And we cleaned that. We had cleaned that all up too. We had. Take the backhoe down there and cut down all the trees and brush and everything. Yeah, that's when they noticed and said, "Hey, stop!" Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they go, "They go, you're you're trespassing." Huh? <laughs> and I thought the town owned this. I was surprised they didn't buy that. I thought they would have. The other issue too with that is, you know, sometimes we don't know that the phones are down, so people can't get in touch with the cable call. Yeah. And then they call us, like, what are you doing? Why aren't you answering your phones? Where have you been? Are you closed? Like, okay, no, you know, we don't know if the phones are down, but now we do, you know? So then, because sometimes if we're not on, because sometimes we're just not in the water share, or we're not on, we're doing something else, you know? But yeah. I don't want people to well, think that we're not, you know, answering the phones, or that I'm just, you know, because the other girl only works part time, and I'm, you know, I'm here, but it's like, it looks bad on me. Thinking that, you know, because I'm not answering the phones and I don't put anything up, but I can't put anything up because I don't have any internet. I don't have any. So sometimes I just sit down here and do like other things, you know, but you can't get to them to tell them. So if they can't, if they can't fix it, then let's figure out something else that we can do. Yeah. Solve the problem. Sounds good. You got anything else? No. You want to hear a motion to adjourn? I'll make the motion to adjourn. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.